friends, happy Friday. It's Friday. It is time to kick off your favorite Roberry weekend vlog. And your girl here just got my hair cut. I know it probably doesn't look different at all. It was just a trim. Trim, thin it out because your girl here has a massive amount of hair. And if I go too long, it gets crazy thick, crazy heavy. And so my girl Kelly to the rescue. <laughs> I love her. My hair gal is the best there is. She's fantastic. She runs on time. That is one of the things that I have experienced with in my experience has always been every single one of my hairdressers has always run massively late. Like it's different, like five, 10 minutes, whatever. I'm talking like half hour to an hour late every time. And I was just like, I can't do this. I can't do this anymore. And so I just, stumbled upon my my girl I just was like I like this particular salon I'm just I'm just gonna randomly pick somebody I randomly picked her and she's amazing she knows my hair I've been coming to her for a couple of years now but um she's she's just she's amazing she doesn't try to make me look like somebody I'm not <laughs> which sometimes is fun like when they do fun like hairstyles and stuff but I'm like at the end of the day, I do still want to look like myself. <laughs> so, but she's amazing. She runs on time. She's sweet. She's kind and she's fantastic. So moral of that story, because it's story time with Lisa. <laughs> if you're in the Sacramento area, you should come to Marabu and ask for Kelly to cut your hair because she's amazing. She's the best there is. So, um, anyways, just finished up here with her. Um, now I've got some other things I need to do. I actually, I've got, I need to go live here in about an hour and a half or so uh, on Facebook for a Facebook party. But before I go home, I do need to stop at UPS and pop some packages in the mail. So I'm gonna do that. But figured I would go ahead and pick up the camera and say, hi friends, welcome to the vlog. Sean is actually going to be leaving work a little bit early today. Maybe we can go and get him to do and it's Friday shtick. <laughs> it's been a couple of weeks. I'm actually editing the vlog from last weekend. And um, yeah, there was there was no it's Friday for the last two vlogs. I'm gonna sweet talk him into doing it. <laughs> Give us an it's Friday because it's been weeks. So, and I know maybe Zoe will be prepared too. So we'll see, but he's gonna get off early. We actually need to run out to Ikea, return one of the pieces of furniture that we got for the Sensi room that it's it's an ever-changing situation almost by the hour with <laughs> that room um still working on it i actually did not upload at all this week which is crazy but there it was just there was just too much happening that i just wasn't able to but i'm actually hoping i can maybe get a video done today uh we'll see but um yeah so sean's gonna get off early we're gonna run out to ikea i think that's it for today yeah but i'm gonna take you guys along with with us because why not that's what we do so happy friday friends welcome to hey the friends look who i have with me we're going on a date no. <laughs> i'm just joking he legit just got off of work and just changed his shirt and now we are in ikea land well first we're going to a uniform shop and then we're gonna go to ikea land yep. and the dogs are with us they're here to experience the adventure as well Hi, babies. <laughs> They're so cute. Um, so I will be staying in the truck with the dogs while hubby goes in and just exchanges the situations. Is are you gonna get kicked out? Do I need to? Do I need to go in and monitor, make sure you're okay? Where at uh, IKEA? IKEA. Oh no. Oh, because my mask. The mask. Please. No, I'll be outside and six feet away from people. <laughs> so there's that. Do you realize that you have the last two vlogs you have not? It's Friday. I know. Is this going to be the week where we do an It's Friday? I think I, so. I promised Zoe. Zoe. <laughs> get, get her ready. Yeah. All right, stop number one. Sean is currently in the uniform store, so hopefully that goes smoothly. I forgot a receipt, so I'm hoping that it won't be an issue, but. Oh, I know. It's so exciting. And it also stresses them out when they can't see us. 
mostly Sean. Um, yeah, so, but I'm just sitting in the car and working from my phone. Um, I do have a party that's going on right now and I went live earlier in it and it's a great group of ladies and I think it's gonna be a really great party, but I love that we're out and about and I can still work this party from my phone while we're out still getting stuff done. So it's amazing. Next stop, I can't. Here we are, Sean's favorite store. That's right. As far as you can even see out the windshield. I, I know, this truck is so filthy. I thought you loved this truck. I do. I know, I also told you I would wash it, but. Like dozens of times you've said that. <laughs> I'm busy. <laughs> All right, don't get thrown out by the mask police. Do you have your mask? Yes, you do. Mask up. Are you gonna get thrown out? All right, we're back on the road. Okay, so there I was. I walk into their, I guess, lobby or whatever you want to call it. Yeah. And the entrance. Entrance. And go up to a lady say, "I'd like to I need to pick up an order, and I have one to return." So, okay, did you check in online for the return? And I'm looking around, there's not anyone around, and there's like three clerks that are ready to go for returns on the other side. I said, no, I, I didn't. <laughs> I thought I could just walk up to the counter. To and return. return. And nope, nope, you got to get on a wait list. So then I had to go to whatever, waitlist.com, and then type in my information. Are you for real? Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and, then, and then, like, there's the two clerks were just standing there. So I had to type in all the information, and then I received a text message saying that I was number one on the waitlist, because I was the oh, only good. one there. <laughs> and then what? It, it took about a minute or two before it hit the lady's computer, and then she uh, Donald? You're the only one there? <laughs> okay. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's me. Let's do this. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's that's not their fault. It's Ikea's fault. Like, yeah. they're just following protocol. But and that's there, so silly. Well, there was another guy that was asking about it, asking if he had to check in uh, and set up an appointment to return, or can he just return what he has now? And she did say, like, when they get super busy, the line is... I'm sure. I'm yeah. sure it is. But when I walk in and there's not anyone there, there's three clerks yeah. standing there. Uh, Sir, I can help you right over here. Said, nope. Not today. Dang. Well, thank you. There we go. I know that was a pain in the butt, and yep. this isn't the ideal day or time that you wanted to go, but... No, this is perfect. This is We're already right, great. right in the middle of rush <laughs> hour. <laughs> let, me, let me show you what we're looking at here. Ah, oh, yes. Traffic. Look at all of that Long stuff. traffic. Another wonderful reason to come visit Sacramento. Yeah. Mm. I mean, it's moving. So there's yeah, for that now. for now. Yeah. Mm. And the dogs are gonna have a heat stroke. Yeah. Silly. <laughs> Happy girl. The dogs love truck rides. They just like to paint a lot though. Do you see how cute these two are? What dogs? They're so cute. Oh. They are hot dogs. Zoe! Hi, Boo! Hi! Oh, they're gonna sleep hard. What's for dinner at the Rowberries? In and out! Time for some burgers. And in case you're curious what the menu at In and Out is, there you have it. That's just the one that they put out there. Advertise. They do have a whole secret menu. Yeah, but don't tell anybody. Don't tell anybody. Shh. Something about animal style. And you can get a you can do a grilled cheese. You can do a grilled cheese. Yeah. And they have the the burgers without the buns. Yeah, protein style. Yeah. Right? And yeah. then you can order a, like a four by four, and then you get four patties or a six by six and get six patties. My mind is blown. Yeah. But don't tell anybody. Fries well done. Fries well done. That's yeah, that's, that's a must here because their fries are garbage. Their fries are garbage. <laughs> their fries are garbage. But Whenever we do get an air fryer, I did see somebody said, and specifically In N Out, that they always, from In N Out, take their French fries when they get home, pop them in the air fryer for a few minutes, and then it's great. So, if you have an air fryer and you have an In N Out, try that. Let us know. There you go. So, better fries from the air fryer and then a cold cheeseburger. <laughs> That's 
true. <laughs> that's yeah, that's true. Or you can just have them double fry it here. That's what we do. <laughs> hey friends, good morning. Happy Saturday. It's that yeah, it's Saturday. It Saturday. Since Sean is working on Fridays, my days are all kinds of thrown off. But um hi friends, good morning. Um we are going to kick off this day, but Sean, I'm struggling already. Sean already went up to the grocery store, not to worry. He went to his favorite grocery store in the uh, whole entire world. It was like being home. <laughs> it was like being home. It was so nice. His favorite store is Safeway, in case you didn't know. He is not a fan of Rayleigh's. Rayleigh's is actually like two minutes away from our house, but instead he drives 20, 25 minutes to go to Safeway because it's just, that's how homey it is. So he did come home with quite a few things. So let's check it out. All right, let's check out this grocery haul. Not in any particular order, <laughs> but we have Simply Potatoes that you see in every single grocery haul from us because we have to have them. We have some chili cheese fritos. What are we doing with those? We're going to put them on our chicken tacos. Oh, <laughs> just, No, we, um, Sean is making me chili. I, was, I, I think he can partake in some too. Oh, I'll yeah. share. Thank you. So we like to crunch up some of these chili cheese Fritos on top of the chili because it is delicious. And then we are having chicken tacos for dinner tonight. Not tomorrow. Crock pot. Crock pot chicken tacos. So you guys will see that. We've got some baking soda, some shredded lettuce. Shreddus. Shreddus. <laughs> we have some chicken breasts for the chicken tacos in the crock pot. We have some tomato sauce. That is not for the tacos. That is for the chili. We have some Crisco vegetable shortening. That's what that is. Uh, we've got avocados. Wait, were those two for five? They must have been. <laughs> were they? <Yeah. laughs> Thank you. Uh, let's see here. What else do we have? A tomato. Just one. Just one tomato that my man's going to dice up. Check out his awesome knife skills. Um, and then we have some pork sausage. Hot country style. So that's going to be good. We're, so this is the first time we're mixing in yeah. sausage in with the chili, right? That's right. That's right. That's right, Lisa. <laughs> Stop, Sean. <laughs> so we have a whole poop ton of meat here. We're not going to use all of it. Are we? We're not? No. Okay. Well... There you go. So we're going to freeze some of it. See. Si. See. Si. Okay. And then we have the best chili kits ever. So if you are wanting to make some amazing chili for yourself, go to the store. <laughs> I think you can order this on Amazon probably. Oh, absolutely. Uh, Carol Shelby's chili kit. Amazing. Comes with everything you need. All you need to do is just add meat, right? That's it. And, and that's it. sauce. And sauce. And water. And water. But you can, you know, you got it. Some tortilla shells. Looks like we're going back to mission. <laughs> I, I expected a little bit more from you with that. Okay, and then this is this is the point in the hall when my pointer goes away. Yeah, he literally was forever. just walking away. We've got some cheese. 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 We've got orange juice. Buttermilk, because we're making our own skillet cornbread. Uh, so you good. Mm. You can move the frame over here. <laughs> He's like, let's move this along. Cornmeal, baking powder. Chicken broth. Chicken broth is not for the cornbread, that's for the tacos. Oh, you, uh, what? you forgot something. What did I forget? I think it was over here. Uh -oh. Get that, you did get that shuffle. <laughs> scratchers! All right, we are gonna become thousandaires. Oh, look at all these scratchers. Okay, you guys are gonna experience this with me yet again. Hi friends, checking in with you several hours later. It is just about one o'clock and hubby and I are getting ready to throw dinner together in the crock pot. So, so good. If you guys are a fan of easy <laughs> and delicious, you gotta check out this recipe. Super easy and delicious. I love all things crock pot because it's pretty hard to mess up. So it is, we are having chicken tacos cooked via obviously the crock pot. Um, so good. So, so tasty. You'll see everything that we throw together. It's just super simple chicken broth, um, ranch seasoning and taco seasoning. Throw it together, cooks for like three hours or so, shred it up and you're good to go and you've got chicken tacos. It is so good. So we're having that for dinner tonight. Once that's going, then Sean is actually gonna be running up to Ikea and grabbing a couple more pieces for my room. Um, so the... Um, 
one of the pieces <laughs> that we had gotten is too big for the spot that we were wanting in the Sensi room, so it's not gonna work. So we are actually, we've got friends who, you guys know we've talked about them quite a bit here on our channel, um, who run the Sacramento Room Redux <clears throat> chapter, and it's, it's an amazing organization. Definitely check them out if you haven't. They transform the rooms of children who have either been um, sexually or physically abused and they completely transform their rooms so that they have something, a, a nice place to stay and it's it's transformed and it, it brings newer beginnings and new happy memories and stuff. So um, they use a ton of the, the pieces from Ikea. So we're just gonna donate the big piece that is too big to our friends at Room Redux. So I'm gonna do that. So, but Sean is actually gonna be heading back up to Ikea to get some smaller pieces. <laughs> He's so sweet. He's such a trooper because Ikea is not close to our house, you guys. It's not close. So he was like, it's okay. I'll just run back up there. Not a big deal. I'm like, oh, husband of the year. He's amazing. So after that, then the room should be complete. I will give you guys a full like room tour to see all the changes. Um, but I, I like how it's coming along. So, but first let's throw dinner together in the Okay, so Sean has left, dinner's in the crock pot, and I'm gonna get to working on the vlog. Um, I'm just about done, there's not too much more to put together, but I just, I don't like waiting until the last minute. And last week, I think I was done a little bit early, and the week before I was done a little bit early, so it felt good. So I'm hoping I can just wrap this up here shortly, so that way we have the rest of the evening to kind of chill. I say kind of chill, kind of, because <laughs> I know Sean is gonna be putting together more Ikea furniture, because that man, is an Ikea furniture machine these days. I can't wait to show you guys the changes. The man's coming home. He's gonna use his blinker. Oh, blinker! <laughs> Thank you for always being so safe. Thank you very well. Welcome to grocery haul. What? Oh, thank you. <laughs> you are so funny. <laughs> Two grocery hauls in one day? Dang! Dang! <laughs> no, you are so sweet. Before, or earlier today, I was telling Sean, I was like, oh, I should have had you grab corn tortillas, but it's totally cool, because I personally prefer the corn tortillas for the chicken tacos. And he made a special stop. Was it to the devil store? Sure was. <gasps> wow, you went to that store for me? Mm -hmm. Wow, you are so sweet. And, in, and, in, you, in and out in under 90 seconds. Boom. And you probably didn't have to talk to anybody. No, no, no. 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 Self-checkout. Yes. All the way. <laughs> first time. <laughs> Cheers! Welcome to Q&A with the Roberries, friends. I got super dressed up today. Yep. You're welcome. 
There we go. Hello, welcome back to everyone's favorite talk show within a vlog on YouTube. Mm -hmm. um, you, you just kind of touched on it there, getting dressed up. Let's address the elephant in the room. I am not wearing a tie. <laughs> that is the elephant in the room. <laughs> I, I have one picked out and it's up on the counter upstairs. It's uh, so funny. It, it, it's officially summer here in Sacramento. It is. It's actually a really cool day today. <laughs> It is. It, it's breezy. I, I was just out in public doing things, and I've been moving IKEA furniture in and out of the house like nonstop uh, for so, several days now. So I got my fan going. <laughs> I got my water. I got my water. Just so no tie. Uh, hopefully, the tie will be yeah. back next week. Maybe. Okay. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. People it, may not yeah, have not any until, more questions. Yeah, not until <laughs> the or the winter time. Okay, well, let's get As into I'm it. As I'm wearing a zip hoodie. Yeah, it's hot. Very hot. Okay, let's get to uh, Sean's product of the week. Woohoo! Sean's product of the week I don't and even know this. company of the week is going to be brought to you by... And company. <laughs> Ikea. It's going to be Ikea. I'll enter in a screenshot. Yeah. <laughs> that Specifically is the, 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 the Calax. Calax. <laughs> the Calax. He can seriously <sighs> assemble anything from Ikea with his eyes shut at this point yeah. you are the best ever i did explain earlier that we got one piece that was way too big luckily we're donating it to our friends at room redux but it's a lot he's the best ever yeah and that's what we we're saying i haven't been we haven't been to ikea in like 15 <laughs> years and then all of a sudden not going like four times in the yeah. last two weeks um <laughs> you're the best yeah and it's gonna true. look really great it is gonna look nice and so you gonna do your YouTube videos, but the real product of the week is Woo! The palm trees Ooh, and ocean yeah. breeze. Yeah, palm trees and ocean breeze. That's actually an empty clamshell. Yeah. Ooh. Got my it eye. smells really okay. good. That is the scent of the month for mm. May. It is empty because she was making samples. If you would like a sample, hit me up, let me know. HMU. Ugh, I love it. That is really nice. Yeah, yeah. that's really nice. If you like by the sea, if you like Atlantic air, mm -hmm. if you like those clean aquatic, Perfect. My, my mustache. Is All right. All right. Let's, let's do this. Let's get into this. I'm excited for this Q and A. All right. I'm excited that there's still questions. Yep. Three minutes in. Let's get. Oh. Let's get it going. All right. First one is from. Woo! This is from our friend Serena. Oh. What? Actually, before that, we would like to say uh, thank you. Thank you to everyone for the birthday wishes. <laughs> yes. Thank you so much. How was your birthday? Oh, it was great. Terrible. I had to. Yeah. They saw it, but they're actually not going to see it until tomorrow. But you guys are not living this vlog right now, so you will have seen that last week. Two weeks in a row. Wow. Dang. But no, seriously, <laughs> thank you very much. Thank it you. Does mean a lot. You guys are amazing. All right, here we go. Woo! This is from our friend Serena. Hey, Serena. Serena is from Dan Anda. I love this. Yes, very cool. That's Region Three for those of you playing along at home. Yes. Uh, and she talked about the different, some of the different products that they have in Region Three, and she would like to know from Lisa if she could pick any of the products from Region Three or Region Two, what would they be? This was kind of an easy one, and it's so oh. fun. What? Yes. Yeah, sorry. And she did include some pictures, which was so nice. Thank you. And it's funny. You must know me. You know me real well because one of the pictures is one of the products that I have had my eye on. Um, I love how like different regions get different products, and it's so funny how we're like, oh, I wish I could get my hands on that, or I wish I could get my. And we have things that are very similar, but it's just. You always want what you can't have, right? Um, so. That's does, the exact same thing. Isn't does it? this look familiar? Yeah. <laughs> no, it's not the exact same thing. It, so is that right there? Obsidian is the exact same thing would be what I would want. You have that in your hand. No, obsidian is gray. I will insert a picture probably right here. <laughs> yeah. um, this is the champagne warmer. This one is no longer available, but I love this. There is just something so beautiful, so timeless so elegant about this yes it's also a 40 watt bulb and i'm a big fan of that but i love this so i i mean well that's perfect so i love region, how sean's like region one and region three cross over with obsidian well and, and then the you picked same. the pink one yeah but that ours is blue on that one yeah so i the... and help me out for our friends in region three um 
the pink one, which is this one, it's exactly the same as Crystal Ice yes. from Region 1. We have Crystal Ice, but so you would want that one? I mean, I know you wouldn't pick that one, but I like that one too, the poppies. Yeah, I like that. But that is exactly the same as that. So I 76 probably... Aussie or uh, whatever the price is. 83 New Zealand. I also really like their the charitable cause where I like the poppies. That's actually the California state flower, but it always reminds me of my dad too. The poppies always remind me of my dad because he would always be like, anytime it was like the veterans are out, like asking for donations for poppies, he's always like, get me the poppies. So I love that. Mm -hmm. So I, and that, and that is different from anything that we actually have. Yeah. Anything other than that? But I do that really you would like, like that. from region two or three. Um, I'm sure there's, there's like scents and things like salted lavender. There's, that's what you, she said. Yeah. I believe salted lavender was one of ours. Yep. You are correct. Yep. Too bad it, they can't cross international lines. I know. I know. I don't, I mean, I don't, I think it must, it must be a situation where it's like supply and like not supply and demand, but demand or popularity. Like obviously something does really well in one region, but may do even better in another region. So, you know, or, I don't. Or country restrictions on different things. There are, there are country restrictions on different things. Cause there's so many people who are, you guys are so sweet and people in different regions will send me messages and say, Hey, can you please send me bricks? <laughs> bricks are the biggest thing. And I don't know why they're not made in other regions, but I don't know. I have no idea, but it is actually against compliance for Sensi consultants to send to different regions. So I would love to help out, but I can't. So so. Don't do that. Don't do it. Thank you. So, oh, and she did kind of talk about her language, the way uh, her name is spelled versus how it's pronounced, yes. which is was pretty cool. I had no idea. So thank you so much for explaining it's pronounced Serena because you've been hanging out with me for years. And so I was always yeah. pronouncing it wrong. So I'm sorry, but, that but is Serena, corrected. thank you so much. Thank you so much. Woo -woo. Oh, sorry. Thank you so much, Serena. Woo -woo. Woo. Yes, right girlfriend scene. has some throat today. This one's from our friend Brittany. Hi, Brittany. Hello, Brittany. Not sure where you currently live, but you would like to come visit California someday and wanted to know some places to visit. Not Sacramento. Yeah, we know some places not to visit. <laughs> Quick, quick story time with Lisa. So our neighbors directly across the street from us just moved <laughs> out. <laughs> yeah, just moved out. They actually moved to North yes, Carolina yesterday. yesterday. And um, it was funny. Like I was so saying jealous. goodbye to them and so just saying like safe travels and take care and best of luck type thing. I mean, what do you say to your, you know, you're never going to see or talk to them again, but like they're really good people. But I just wanted to say like, bye, like good luck, safe travels. And <laughs> what does he say? Enjoy Sacramento. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh Deuces. no, See no. Um, so I would say somewhere along the coast. Uh, what was that last year? I had some work stuff going on up at, way up north in Humboldt County, and it was very, uh, very beautiful up there. But I haven't been. No, no. So Humboldt, so like along the along the coast, that uh, Fort Bragg, Bodega Bay, Half Moon Bay. Oh, Half Moon Bay is so much fun. Yeah. Um, really good food. San Diego. Yeah. <laughs> Crab cakes, yeah. lobster bisque. Yeah. San Diego's great. San Diego, San Diego is really, really cool. Been down there a couple times for work for mm -hmm. training, and uh, very much enjoyed it. Definitely stay away from Sacramento. Uh, probably Los Angeles, depending on where you're yeah. at. Where we stayed down there for the mm -hmm. SC that game. Was, that was great. Was it was a good few blocks. Yeah. So if you get on, get to LAX, and then you just go straight there, and then uh, back to LAX and mm -hmm. get the heck out of Dodge. Yeah. Uh, I would stay away from probably. San Francisco. Well, I was gonna say if you it depends on what we you like. Been, we haven't been in many years. And it depends on what you like. Like if you like really busy, really like I mean like like Sean said, we haven't been in a few years. But I, I like San Francisco. Like like when you took me when we would like walk the pier and mm -hmm. you know, that's like our vibe. Like yeah. we, we don't like really like super crowded places, really like busy like stuff like that. But like any like chill place like the pier is really great aquarium huntington beach huntington beach yeah. that's one Forget of one of my yeah huntington beach that was one of my favorite places ever we actually went when we went to southern california <laughs> what yeah when we went to sorry when we went to southern california for sensi family reunion one of the days we decided to take a, the day at huntington beach and it was amazing 
Yeah. <laughs> Story time. Well, there we go. Okay. There we go. All right, thank you so much. Thank you so much, Brittany. Whoop, whoop. Thank you for your question. If you do uh, come anywhere around Sacramento, hit us up. Yeah, let us know. Let us know. We'll come say hi. Uh, Have lunch. All right. This next one is from Samantha. Sorry. <laughs> this next one is from? This one's from our friend Samantha. Samantha from Michigan. Hi, Samantha from Michigan. Michigan whoop, in whoop. the house. These questions are actually for the docs, so if we can get Ranger and Zoe. I here. knew it was you, Samantha. I was like, Samantha from Michigan. I know Samantha. Samantha from Michigan has been hanging out with me for years, like from the beginning. She's an OG. So if you could just read the highlighted parts. Okay, thank you. Samantha. Hey, girlfriend. I didn't even know you that you watched the vlog. I not read it, but. My yes. questions are about the pups. <laughs> how old are Zoe and Ranger, and how old were they when you adopted them? So Zoe, we're thinking is she's probably about seven now. Seven, Ranger we know is in his terrible twos. Yeah. He will be three in August. Mm -hmm. August. August. We know his his birth date because he has papers, but um, but yeah, with Zoe we're not really yeah. sure. It's just yeah, they were thinking like one to two years mm -hmm. old when we got her, and we've had her now for I think mm -hmm. six years, yeah. five five to six years. Mm -hmm. So anywhere. <laughs> yeah. eh, six to but it, it's seven. so like it makes me sad though like cause, uh, w since we got new phones like I was going through my millions of pictures and yeah. um like seeing when she was just a bait like when we first got her and how like dark her muzzle was like you don't realize when your pups start to age and their muzzles start to gray like you don't realize that until it's like white like her muzzle's not white but she's she's getting gray she is. Yep. my girl okay. okay um what made you guys want to adopt and do you know anything about the homes they were in previously <laughs> um so we've always been do you want to go ahead and talk because i've been talking a lot no what oh, fine we're we're uh, doggo people we had a key cat for a little bit and go uh give that to my mom yeah. and just uh, sticking with the dogs yeah and uh, uh, we just love dogs, love the breed, very loyal breed with uh, German Shepherds, mm -hmm. and obviously with a little bit of the law enforcement stuff, just absolutely love uh, love German Shepherds. And if you can adopt, like, you know, there's there's yeah. so many dogs that need adopt, homes. Adopt, don't shop. Adopt, don't shop. Yeah. I know some sometimes situations may be different, and, like, for a minute I was really wanting a Frenchie, and, like, there's no Frenchies in rescues. <laughs> like, so that's not a thing. So, you know, if there's a certain breed, then you may have to shop. But if you can adopt... Like that's, there's so many dogs that need homes. Um, we do know a little bit about the previous home from, well, Zoe came as a pair. So Zoe had a sister and they, together, they were both kind of crazy, right? Yeah, I think that's what. So then they wound up and then they, needing to be separated, which breaks my heart, yeah. but. And then she went to foster with a couple of our friends and so yeah, yeah, it was really yeah, really so, nice. We met Zoe up there. I don't think you met her until I brought her yeah. to her, to office. And here's a little backstory too. Zoe, when she was with the rescue, she was rehomed, or she was they did home her, and then it was like a week later oh, they right. said we we can't I yeah, I can't do crazy. we can't do this. It wasn't even well she was she was crazy, yeah. but I think the reason was because she was too clingy. Which is so funny because she's everything but both of those now. Like, she was crazy, you guys. Like, she... Not Ranger crazy. Almost. Remember when she tore up the sectional? Oh, yeah. You, yeah. you walked in and Sean was like, I thought someone had literally, like, broke into the house because she had pulled the sectional from the wall and, like, tore the, the cushions to shreds. Yeah. And then she went to Kettle. And, and then she went to Kettle. ever since. Yep. Yeah. Ranger? <laughs> yeah, we, we don't know a whole lot. Yeah, just uh, assumptions, really. Yeah, and just, yeah, I figured he was probably a backdoor, or backdoor, uh, backyard dog. Mm -hmm. And we had to teach him how to live inside. Yep, that's somewhere. pretty much all we know. Uh, lastly, how did Zoe feel about Ranger at first? I love seeing Zoe and Ranger throughout the vlogs, and of course, Fridays with Zoe. We haven't done Fridays with Zoe for a long time. Not since yesterday. Yeah. Um, <laughs> So, uh, how did she, she loved him. She mm -hmm. loves other dogs, but it's like awesome. at first, but then when she realized how crazy he was, then I think she was like, mm, you can send him back. Yeah. <laughs> but now she, she loves him and they have come to 
It, it's on her terms. She loves, it is on her terms. She loves playing with them, and she knows that she can get them going and then make it back to uh, her cot. Home which base. Kind of her home <laughs> we, base. We call it and home so base. If she make, she's out playing and then makes it back to the cot, then that's it, and yeah. she just wants to, to stop. So it's definitely yeah. on her terms. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Samantha. Whoop, whoop, my girl. All right, this last one is from our friend. Woo, Claire. Hi, Claire. Claire would love to know the story about behind your necklace. Oh, thank you. I love my necklace. So my necklace, it's funny because um, quite a few people, uh, like right when Sean gifted it to me, would ask, what what is that all about? So this is actually a replica of his badge. So uh, there is a jeweler that's local to us that actually does replica of, I'm sure just, I mean, probably just local law enforcement badges, but like spot on to a T it's an exact same replica, badge number, same yeah. badge number, everything. And it's a little, it's a necklace. So he got it for me for Valentine's day. Mm -hmm. That's true. I sure did. Uh, thank you for that story. Thank you. And then she <laughs> wanted to know with me as far as, uh, she had some really nice stuff to say about being in law enforcement. I definitely appreciate that very much. We appreciate uh, it. This is not, uh, a Any good time, time to be in law enforcement to say the least yeah. with everything going on and you kind of feel like the whole the whole world or country is against law enforcement so when you get a nice note like that mm -hmm. uh, it really does mean a lot so thank yeah, you very much appreciate it. and I wanted to know we she was referencing when we were talking about some of the TV shows that we watched on of Anarchy Breaking Bad <laughs> uh, some of the other ones as well it kind of wanted to know how my brain watches it if I'm if I can just kind of get immersed in the characters or if I'm thinking all oh, law enforcement and these bad guys need to go to jail and I will say no I absolutely love the shows just yeah. love uh, watching the characters Breaking Bad like I said before was my absolute favorite yeah. television show uh, I really like Walter White but I loved Heisenberg yeah <laughs> yeah. yeah for sure yeah, Heisenberg for sure. Was the absolute man yeah uh, no it is, it is a blast just to watch him we don't really watch any specific law enforcement you know like uh you typically don't really care yeah because it, it the the stuff on tv or the csi or the rookie blue or like none of that stuff is is real it's there, there so was, exaggerated there was or... one show that was close to it which was uh southland 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 was the most authentic show that i've seen to actual law enforcement uh, and I sure wish that show would come back. But even at that, like you know, it, that's what you're living day to day is like yeah. what they're what they're doing on calls and stuff. So yeah. you you got to come home and kind of turn your brain off or switch it, you know. And so, but, but yeah. that was a South, good Southland was really good. And, yeah, and contrary to popular popular belief, crimes do not get solved in sixty minutes. <laughs> that is so funny. <laughs> So, yeah, uh, it takes a while for DNA and yeah. everything else, fingerprints, it doesn't happen that fast. No. There's no magic technology to do that. Well, kind of on fingerprints. So, anyway, all right, thank you so much, Claire. <laughs> thank you so much, Claire. Whoop, whoop. Right. We appreciate the support. That's going to wrap things up for today. All yeah. right. If you have any questions that you'd like to have answered, send them in to roberryvlog at gmail.com. I don't know why I have to sing. I don't know why I have to sing. I'm editing the vlog. I'm almost done with she the vlog. She has a great voice, you guess. <laughs> you always be. I, I will belt it out around here. And he's like, really? What, really? What's happening? Anyways, if you have any questions, send them in to roberryvlog at gmail.com. If you are not already following us on Instagram, be sure to follow us on Instagram so that way you can see what the roberries are up to. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Thanks, guys. All right, thank you so much. And take it away. Whoop, whoop. Otis. Thanks, friends. What's happening? What's happening over here? Were you guys not interested? Hmm? Lots of the questions were actually about you. <laughs> Way to show up. Way to show up. Way to give it your almost. Speaking of your product of the week, <laughs> look what he's up to now. Making more of the Calyx cubes for me. Why? Because you're the best. All right, friends, Q&A is done. I was just working on the vlog for just a few minutes and it is time to shred up the chicken. So let's get to shredding.
All right, Taqueri at the Roberries. We, you guys, you guys have seen this, but if you're new here, hello and welcome. This is what our chicken tacos look like. My husband is a weirdo and likes to have Miracle Whip on his tacos, and that's okay. No judgment. And I've got my cute little street yeah, tacos. You call me situation. a weirdo. No judgment as you call me a weirdo. Yeah, but that's okay. <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and then I've got my avocado chopped up over there. Hey friends, good morning and happy Sunday. It's a little bit of a chilly, gloomy day out. We're actually supposed to be getting some rain, which California needs the rain desperately. We're already in a drought and we're in April, almost into May. So that's not good, but we are expecting a little bit of rain today, but the rain hasn't rolled in yet. So these crazy dogs need to go on a walk. So we are going to be going on a walk this morning. Not gonna see much sunshine around here this morning, but we're still gonna take you along with us for our usual Sunday dog walk. Happy Sunday. Also, my amazing husband completely finished all the Ikea stuff last night. He's the best ever. He sure did. Yeah. <laughs> He's sure done with anything Ikea ever again. <laughs> Let's do it again in about 10 years. Yeah, that sounds good. I'll show you guys later.
All right, friends, you know the deal. It's Sunday. You hear the music. It's time to hang out with you guys for the vlog premiere from last weekend. And in usual Roberry Pup fashion, they are pumped and they are ready. They're excited. And we've got just under a minute. And we're chatting with you guys. Whoop whoop. Happy Sunday. Well, hello there. Hello. Hi. Hello. How's everyone doing? Hey, friends. Hey, friends. Hi, friends. <laughs> hey, friends. Hi, friends. Hello, hey. friends. Hey. So funny. We actually had somebody comment today. Um, <laughs> and she said, if or a new drinking game is take a drink or shot every time Lisa says, hey, friends, I wouldn't recommend that. Yeah, that's every clip. <laughs> that's every that's single the, clip. The start of every clip. <laughs> I can't help it. I just, I feel like I know you're watching this all in one, like, take, but... I feel like I haven't talked to you in several hours, so I need to say hi. Hi, friends. <laughs> Hello, we are on the move. We are actually delivering an order to a friend over in a nearby neighborhood, and then um, just stopping over at Walgreens real quick, and then heading back home. But it's raining. Would you look at that? You didn't think it was gonna actually rain. I did not. I mean, let's not get too carried away. It's yeah. like sprinkles. <laughs> Nothing, nothing, no storm or anything is rolling through here, which is actually what we kind of need, but that's okay. And then tonight for dinner, we are having chili, chili, yum, delicious, yummo. It's actually not cold out. Um, I wish it was a little bit more chilly, chilly, if you will. If you will. Um, but I'm going to take the opportunity to enjoy probably the last chili until it actually does get cold. So that'll be wonderful. Just figured I'd pick up the camera and say, hi friends. <laughs> and we'll check in with you here in just a little while. We're out just spreading the scentsy love. Yes, we are. She got herself the Mother's Day warmer and then some bars and some laundry stuff as well. So yay, she's gonna be so excited. All right, Scentsy order has been dropped and we better batten down the hatches because we're getting some real rain here, folks. Batten Do you down. see that? Actual raindrops. <laughs> I know, I'm I'm a dork, I'm just joking around. Um, but we need it, we need a good rain because I explained earlier, I don't know if you were around or not, that we're already in a drought. Yes, we are. And you didn't say hey friends at the opening of this book. Hey friends! <laughs> I know, I know, it's obnoxious. Sorry if it's annoying. I just feel like I need to say hi. Ray Ray. Zoe? They get so excited to be in the truck and then as soon as we leave they're like okay yeah we're done <laughs> we're, we're done so all right next stop walgreens and then back home oh ladies and gentlemen <laughs> boys and girls children of all ages hello and welcome to another episode of what's lisa smelling uh, 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 how are we feeling today sir uh we're feeling pretty good how some are you us, feeling some of us are feeling good yeah. i'm feeling a little bit iffy and I think I was feeling decent and then you were feeling very smug about yourself earlier and thought I will get three or four. I said four. Four. That's not bad. Four, eight, and six ain't bad, as they say. Boom, 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 boom. All right. Thank you so much, Bethany and the band. Thank you so much, Bethany. Bethany's over here today. Oh, uh, Bethany. Uh, well, my Bethany's over here. <laughs> <laughs> She's Thank the... you so much. She's a band leader for episode uh, number 701 of What's right. Lisa Smelling. We do have a new sponsor this week. We they do. pay a lot of money to be here. That Shauna's excited about. Let's see. <laughs> Glamour shots, you guys. <laughs> Glamour shots. Yes, you can. Oh my gosh. Okay, show of hands who had Glamour shots mm -hmm. done in the day. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness, and I love that that's my face. Yes, yeah, that is <laughs> certainly very, your face. Yeah, this, you used really great Photoshop skills mm -hmm. on this. Yeah, no, yeah. I, I did it myself. Thank you. Very good. All right, uh, winner of the trivia question is... This one was kind of a weird one. So the extra credit question from last week was, and if you are newer to our channel, hello and welcome. We have a lot of fun around here. Um, you will see that there are credits at the end of each vlog and a trivia question in the credits. So you don't get anything. You just get a little whoop whoop. 
way to go. Uh, so our trivia question winner from last week was our friend Adrian. Hi, Adrian. Good job. So the question itself was power outages in the USA are mostly caused by what? What's wrong? Nothing. Uh, and I said, no, the answer is not sensing. <laughs> so Adrian says storms and wind are the cause of power outages followed by animals and then humans. Yeah. So technically, I mean, I, I guess the question that, or the answer you were, the answer I was looking for was actually squirrels. Cause that was the, where you saw it. on the That's trivia. where I, that's where I saw it, but who knows how like accurate, accurate that is. So you get it. Yeah. Way so anyone that answered gets a point. Yes. Yeah, exactly. So way to go. Whoop, whoop. And now we go to question or the comments. viewer comments. Viewer yes. comments, and then we have these awesome screenshots here. If you don't see these very well, because you probably don't, stay tuned for the end of the vlog. So this one is from our friend Danny. Hi, Danny. So she says, "Now that you're not screaming, we can hear your feet." I know. Don't worry, friends. Your loud and proud friend is back. So not to worry there. Is that why you grabbed a towel? <laughs> so funny okay <laughs> so next one is from our friend Lahaina I hope I I pronounced your name correctly she goes oh no Columbia house got me in so much trouble as a child ha 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 yeah for <laughs> sure I that was so funny to see the comments and responses from the Columbia house sponsor because we have all been there yeah we're still looking for a consultant <laughs> there's no we're not and then this one super cute picture of me and my hubby from our friend Angel. Hi, Angel. I love your weekend vlogs. Thanks so much for all you do. Law enforcement, Sensi, cooking, uni, pizza, cooking, can't wait to order mine. You both are awesome. Uh, keep up the great work. You both inspire me. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank that was very you. nice. And before we begin the game, I have to declare the cheeseburger winner from last week. If you are on Team Whataburger, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Team Whataburger, yes. you are the, the winners. We have the most comments, people saying that they were on Team Whataburger. Oh, there you go. So there you go. There you there, go. That's the best burger in the country. Yep. You and a lot, a lot of people did say that, well, we don't have in and out here, so, yeah. you know. And I we think. don't have Whataburger here. And Whataburger, and it is, someone actually had commented and said, you can't really compare, which we agree. We did eat Whataburger when we were in Texas, mm -hmm. and they have a huge array of different burgers, so it's, it's definitely not the same, but anyways. One Team Whataburger burger wins. wins. All right, let's get to this. I will say, one of the eyeballs fell off when I was taking this out, so this may get interesting. <sighs> I'm feeling a little bit nervous. Oh, no, you're doing great. Oh, don't say that. Good. Yeah, you're already doing really good. Okay, is that secure? I think it's secure. Okay, finger and nail count. 75. 75, yeah, that's... That's pretty accurate. Extra credit for you, Ranger, and Zoe. Okay. <sighs> All right. <clears throat> All right, here we go. We're still starting off easy? Yep, nice and easy. Did you pick any easy ones is oh, the yeah. question. I picked six of them. Are they all in our club? Because <laughs> <laughs> as it turns out, apparently, when there are scents in the club, I tend to not get Yeah, this one is this frosted ginger cookie it sure is yeah! yes 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 okay awesome and you know what's really funny is that to me my nose automatically smells fruit loops on this one so funny can you smell this did you smell this i did smell it okay we're gonna need to warm that one because it's you like it yeah. we can't get this anymore and it's not in our club so that's why i got it <laughs> <laughs> Yelling at him. Sorry. All right, here we go. Number two. All right, number two. Number two. Number two. Okay. Well, at least I got one. That's always. But at least I get one. Oh. Oh, this is nice. Um, this is fruity. Hold on. And I was telling Sean earlier, I was explaining earlier that um, I'm a little bit nervous now that like my bars are no longer hidden because <laughs> now Sean has full range of my collection. This is it's fruity. No, it's citrusy. 
it's not lemon verbena. Lemon verbena is more um, like zesty kind of lemon. This isn't, this isn't, this squeeze a day? Nope. Lemon sorbet? Yes. Woo! Woo woo! Yes, 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 yes! Okay, cool. Woo! Okay. There we go. And you know what's really funny? We have new neighbors across the street and I hope they can hear me. <laughs> They're kind of like, what yeah. is actually happening? Rethink the purchase of their house? Yeah. You have to like love neighbors. Here that we bad. Go. You go to bed early. And number three. Okay, I'm feeling better. I'll see how you do on this one. I smell bergamot in this. It smells kind of like woodsy or masculine. We did Mystery Man last week. This is, and this smells different than Mystery Man. This is a little bit more woodsy, I feel like. Woodsy masculine. I am not gonna go into the hint hole, but I feel like I wanna ask you if there's burn one here, so don't answer me if that's gonna take away a point or a partial point. And see, now I'm like nervous about moving on because I don't know what the next bars are gonna do to my nose holes. <laughs> I really do feel like, like, especially watching back what's Lisa smelling from last week, I feel like the Huckleberry Sage incident, oh, was, yeah. that's an that incident. That was hilarious. I, I feel like I passed that. I was like, you know what? I'm going to come back to this like with a fresh sniffer. Um, and, and I that actually hindered me. And I did promise both Elisa and, was it Natasha, that said, smell the bottom of the bar. You guys, I've smelled the bottom of the bars. They smell the same to me. So that doesn't smell any strong. That's why I don't do that. I know some people are like, smell the bottom of the bar. If there's only a way to cleanse your nose palate in between. Oh, that's not here. Where's there that? it is. Yeah. <sighs> Coffee? Coffee, anyone? Anyway. I'm going to come back to this. Very well. Okay. Okay. Two out of six. And number four. Number four. Oh, this is easy. This smells like Victoria's Secret love spell, so this is lucky in love. Yes, it is. Woo! Yes, it is. Okay. That one was easy. Woo! Okay, cool. Yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yay. Maybe the coffee did me a little bit of luck. Where's get you some of that. Get you some of that. Do you like it? Oh, uh, yeah. We'll go with that. You're like, oh, whatever. And number five. Okay. Oh. This is not available. This is more fall, winter. It's not apples and cinnamon sticks, but it is very cinnamony. This is pretty cinnamony. Is it is a cinnamon bear? No. I don't think I smell any apple in this. Is this, is this apple apple and cinnamon sticks? No. Nope. Ah, yeah. No. Mm -mm. Christmas cottage. That is correct. <gasps> That is. Yay! So I'm already at four. Yes. Right? One, two, three, four? Yep. Yes! Boom. Boom. Okay, so now you think I'm going to get the next two wrong. Uh. Or. Well, the one we, we have to circle back to the one and then we have a new one. So we'll see here. Okay. I just got to keep the coffee in my nose holes. <laughs> <laughs> I take this very seriously. Oh, I love this. 
Is it in our club? Probably. No, gosh, I love this. I know this. It probably is in our club. <sighs> this is really nice. This is fruity. I, it's been a while. It's, I smell like I get kind of some peaches in here. Maybe. I say it's been a while because it's been a while since I've said, is it peaches? Right? Yes. Yep. Oh, I'm here. Just let you work through it. Or it could be. I'm going to come back to the bergamot one. Bergamot. Please. please. All right, let's remind everyone that <sighs> the one she is circling back to here. Even if I wind up getting the next two wrong. I'm not giving up. I'm not giving up because you're not done until you're done. But this is my hero. It is. <gasps> Yay! Are you serious? Yay! Oh, I thought for sure I was going to get this one wrong. <laughs> <laughs> is there a bergamot in this? Uh, let's go. And sec. Uh, no. Okay. Well, can you read the description, please? Yes, I can. <laughs> and it's not taking a point away. Uh, cool citrus and white birch riding. Uh, current of crisp air. White birch, bergamot. You know. Yeah, pretty, pretty much the same thing. Yeah, it's nice. Pretty this is more woodsy than Mystery Man. I feel like Mystery Man is a little bit sweeter, yeah. but still kind of like same type of vibes. Woodsy maybe. apple, woodsy apple, apple woodsy. <laughs> when was that? That was from a couple weeks ago. Yeah. Woodsy apple, woodsy woodsy. Woodsy 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 apple. Oh gosh, we have to go back to that fruity one. <sighs> I didn't give my time enough. My time enough. I didn't give my <laughs> nose enough time. <clears throat> Five out of six. Finish strong. I'm doing better than you thought. I know this one. <laughs> so I, I already explained it in the vlog that went up today. It's like when you when you're on the verge of something, you're like, ah, I know this. And this I am gonna kick myself for. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Let's see if you guys. Okay, it may be a little bit stronger on the bottom, but it that actually messes me up more because it that's like not I don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like it on the bottom. It's like too. It's like I don't know. I like it better on top. I know this. <sighs> I hope you're making some reactions for our reaction cam. No, uh, I'm pretty under bone over here. Sorry. It's because I'm doing so well. <laughs> I'm totally joking. Don't. I know this. The, I mean, we'll just shake it kind of smells like rainbows and butterflies, but you just did that one. I did. It sure did. This is just shake, shake out your head. Just shake it out. There you go. And shout it out when you know it. Okay. What's the, <laughs> <laughs> what's the first hint? We're going down the hint hole. All right. Well, you know, it's going to be that skew. Oh, yeah. That's right. The skew is 36226. It is not available. So it's probably in our club. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if this is in our club, I might actually lose my mind. <laughs> Uh, can I see the front of the clamshell? Just confirming. Yes, it is. In fact, to bring back my bar, which <laughs> probably means it's probably in our club. What? It, it, it is purple. It's this is fruity. Yes, it is. Is it peaches or pineapples or strawberries or? <laughs> uh, no, none of those. 
Are you sure? I'm uh, pretty sure. Is there some citrus in here? This is harder. Mm -hmm. I love this. It probably is in our club. All right. Would you like the description? Yes, please. All right. Well, this first word is probably going to give it away. Blackberry. Blackberry meringue. Shut your mouth. Okay. Is it in our club? It was. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it was. And then I was doing some paring down. This is so nice. I love this. It is nice. Are we done? Yes. Oh, that is it. Man. Number six. Okay. Well. Five out of six. Five out of six ain't bad. I do love this. This was one of the first things that I put into our club along with Huckleberry Sage. We're not, we're not saying that around mm -mm. here right now. But, nope. And then I was doing some paring down and this one just didn't make the cut. And that's sad. Because it is really nice. It, <laughs> so. it is really nice. Man. Okay. Ah! Okay. Well, five out of six ain't bad. And that's better than what you were expecting. And that's better than what I was expecting too. Yep. Not too bad. All right. Okay. Let's get to our second round of three comments. Ooh. I hope I didn't want you guys down. Oh, that's a cool picture with the uni pizza oven. Ooh. Uni. <laughs> okay. It's from our friend Melissa. Hi, Melissa. I'm not I'm not bored by pizza, by the pizza oven. I'm fascinated by it. Happy early birthday. Thank you so much. We love the pizza oven. Yes, we do. And thank you again for all the birthday wishes. Yes, thank you guys. That was very so nice. So much. Very, very nice. Next one. Q&A time. Oh, boy. And this one is from our friend Shill. Uh, long story short, I didn't know you could do that. That cracked me up. So I said, long story short, Sean said, I didn't know you could do that. Yeah. So you've got those little zings. Yep. Zings. Zing. Okay. Oh, My husband finds the best pictures. <laughs> Obviously, I'm always, I'm so expressive. This is from our friend Torella. She says, hey Lisa, I'm a new consultant. Yay, welcome to the Sensi family and to your channel. Oh, and your channel has been so helpful. I mean, uh, I'm enjoying the Q&A, how fun. Thank you so much. I'm so happy you are here hanging out with us. We really appreciate it. Absolutely. All right, let's get to our second spot. They pay a lot of money to be here. Our friends are over money. at? Shop. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> Glamour shots. Yes, you can. Uh All right, Benjamin in the band, take us away. Benjamin, Benji, thanks for showing up. <laughs> whoop, whoop. Benji. Five, five out of six, six ain't bad. Da, da, da. All right, so what's Lisa smelling? Another, I would call success. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, but I wanted to share a fun little fact with you. Our friend Laura actually sent me an email after today's vlog went up and she was like, hey, did you know this about those tortilla shells that you got? Check this out. Shout out to our friend Laura because this is amazing. So as you guys know, we have been in a tortilla shell debacle, hunt for the perfect tortilla shell. And we finally found a tortilla shell that we really liked, which was the Olay brand. And then last time Sean went to the store to get the Olay brand tortilla shells. They were replaced with this and he's like oh no what is, what's gonna happen well we actually decided we like them more well this may be a mind trick because dun, da, 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 check this out ole <laughs> that is so funny i had no idea she was like you probably already know this but check on the back it actually looks like they're made by ole it tastes more like regular ole i mean so is this a mind trick do these just taste the same as the ole mm -hmm. or but these are softer though. That is true. So we'll go with these brought to you in part by Olay. We're, <laughs> we're going to go with these brought to you in part by Olay. Thanks so much, Laura. This just made my day. All right. Now that the rain has come and gone, <laughs> it's time for some delicious chili. Even though it's not cold outside, we are going to pretend like it is and enjoy this chili and homemade cornbread. This cornbread is to die for. Mm -hmm. I will link all the recipes in the description. Check them out.
right, dinner's all done. We have our delicious cornbread. This cornbread is amazing. What I do wanna let you know, Sean actually kind of combined a couple of different recipes. So the recipe I'm going to link does not actually add cheese. No. So just, we yeah. just add cheese. So, and it's delicious. Yeah. We've got our chili situation with cheese and then the chili cheese Fritos on top. Let's eat. Hey friends, happy Monday. It is Monday afternoon and the dogs are on one. Yes, they are. <laughs> um, it is currently three something and here we are checking in with you a little bit, a little bit late. <laughs> um, I have had kind of a typical work day. I've been, I've got a party going on and just getting ready for May because oh my gosh, May is just right around the corner. But Sean is actually on vacay from work, but what he's been doing is actually getting ready to go camping. So that is what he's been busy doing. Yes, yeah, so you're gonna have a ton of fun. So dogs. much fun, so much fun. And the start of the next vlog that you guys are gonna see will be without my man, but he is coming home on Saturday so that he can be there for the vlog premiere. That's true, and uh, <laughs> Doge update. Uh, oh yeah, we're not billionaires yet. Not yet, not by a long shot, so we're gonna have to reevaluate this. It's been going, we started mining about 16 hours ago or so, and we have <laughs> five yep. hundredths of one. 10. Uh, of, no, of one Dogecoin. Yeah. Five hundredths, so 0 0.05. <laughs> So you do the math. <laughs> 15 hours for uh, 500 of Dogecoin. So we're spending more money and energy than what oh. we're actually getting back oh, for yeah. on Doge. Yeah, even if we did a Doge a day. This sounds like a really smart investment. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah for more expert uh, financial advice, hit me up. Yeah, exactly. But anyways, figured I would go ahead and pick up the camera. Um, last night's dinner was amazing. It was chilly. You guys saw the chili. Fantastic. Doing the mixture of the sausage with the ground beef. Yeah. Money. money. So, so yummy. So, we are going to have chicken tacos for dinner tonight. Leftover chicken tacos for dinner tonight. Don't do that because then I can't see what's going on. And the dogs are just so happy. It's Monday. Yeah. So, anyways, figured I'd pick up the camera and say, howdy friends. We are having leftover, I did, did say that we're having leftover chicken tacos. And Sean's just gonna continue working away and I'm gonna continue working away as well. I figured I'd say, hi. Hello, happy Monday. Happy Monday. Since we don't do Friday anymore. <laughs> but I will um, take you guys upstairs here pretty soon and show you the progress of the Sunsea Room. It's not okay. done. It's not done by a long shot, but um, while Sean is away being homeless by choice, yeah. I'm going to get my room all organized and set up. So happy Monday, friends. What's happening, pups? Are we going to do a day in the life of the Roberry pups when dad's gone? <laughs> Yes. So this is what it looks like when you prepare to be homeless for a few days. Mm -hmm. Ranger's like, what? What's happening? I don't understand. Maybe Ranger would like to come with me. Would you like that? Yeah, actually. Take him. <laughs> <laughs> Think about when he's off leash. Yeah. Woo! In the wilderness. It's a nice boys trip. Yeah? You like that idea? Yeah, I mean, he's any further to the door, he'll be outside. <laughs> Okay, so here's the current Sensei Room situation. It is still a disaster. <laughs> I just figured I'd show you because now that the pieces are all set up, I would show you what we wound up with because watching the vlog from last weekend, I was like, yeah, no, it's looking good, but it wound up, yeah, it, we went with something completely different. So um, we did the calyx you can see there's lots of calyx pieces in here so we've got the alex nine drawers here and here not sure if they're going to stay there or if i'm going to move them because this blocks those cubes right back here so i may wind up moving those but i'm not 100 percent sure just yet but these are the two by two calyx cubes and we just had four of those and then this is the Calyx um, two by four, as you can see. So that works really well. And then right behind me here, this is another Calyx Q 
cube situation here. This is the one by four. And what we did is we just got some drawers to put in it in here. So this is gonna be really nice as well. So I've got that here. So it's definitely coming along. This is still a disaster. <laughs> um, and I need to just go through and really organize everything, but it's coming along. And now I've actually got more bar storage. I took down my little banner and I put my bricks up here. And then I'm actually gonna do another row of bars here on the bottom. So, but I just wanna kinda get everything into like the places I want them to be in and then I'll work on the bar wall, but I'm really happy with it so far. So yeah, I am, I'm really happy. It's, it's such a nice little lift to see the white when I've been looking at the black cubes for so long. So it's just a nice little change. So there you have it. That is the current update and next time you'll see it, it will be completed and it won't be a disaster anymore. All right, friends. So as you can see by the wet hair, all done with dinner, cooling down for the night, ready to rest and chill. But first we need a real live reaction from Sean Cometh. So <laughs> he doesn't know what I'm doing. So one thing about Sean, he loves, lives by, <laughs> I don't care, thanks, uh, Blue Grotto, one of his favorite scents. He likes to take the pods with him camping I don't have the blue grotto pods. Oh, perfect. But I picked out some oh. other ones. No, no. no you were... <laughs> I, what, what did I? What did I tell you? I was like, oh, I'll always have the blue grotto pods yeah. for you. All right, I'll text Ryan. Let me know no, 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 I'm no, no. no. <laughs> come here, going. come here. No, you need to pick what what pods you want. No, I'm not going. So I think here's here's to my defense. <laughs> here's to my defense. I have some of the uh, Berry Bright pods. He's so upset. So he's going with aloe water and cucumber. Mm. I'm sorry. That's okay. That's no I know it's a big deal. I'm sorry. That's okay. <laughs> no, you're already doing great. I'm already doing great. No, um, yeah. So, but to my defense, the the packaging looks very similar in terms of color to the Blue Grotto pods. So this is true. All right, no biggie. Womp womp. Yeah, womp. Life, life goes on. It's no big deal. I'm gonna hear this for the rest of the night, so. No. Help. All right, friends, so Sean got me a gift. I sure did. Let's take a look. Let's take a look, I have no idea. It Let's just take... got delivered. It just got delivered. Okay, I hope it's uh, what I ordered, let's see. I hope it's what you ordered too. It looks like the cutest little styrofoam box though. Yeah, I got you a snow globe. Oh, thanks. Yeah, <laughs> this is what snow globes come. <gasps> it's a mug. Oh, how cool! So you guys, if you haven't noticed, I collect mugs. And it's my license plate. It's Wax Emperor, which is Wax Empire. Oh, I love it. This is perfect. Thank you so much. Thank you. To add to my mug collection, hopefully you will see it in a Q&A. Keep sending those questions in. <laughs> and you'll see this one on one of the future Q&As. All right, friends, the time has come to close out the vlog. Thank you guys so much for coming to hang out with us this weekend. Say thanks so. Say thanks to our friends. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for your continued love and support. And be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you like the vlogs. Be sure to subscribe if you're new for future random weekends with the Roberries. We really appreciate the love and support. I hope you guys have an amazing week. Not sure how much vlogging is going to be happening next weekend since hubby is going camping for a few days. He is coming back for, he is coming back next weekend. So it may be a little bit shorter, which some of you may prefer anyway, but all right. So say bye to our friends. Bye friends. Have an amazing week. Bye guys.
Don't leave your soft and keep on running. 